Gypsy so Rose feels the baby kick so and talks week, about her I am scars. 22 weeks pregnant, and this is my pregnancy update. So now that I am in my second trimester, I've been experiencing a lot of the things that are associated with pregnancy. So I have started to feel her kick a lot. Um, I have started to feel those movements and I've started to notice kind of her sleeping pattern. So I have noticed that she kicks a lot at night, anywhere from nine o'clock at night to 11 o'clock at night. And she's calmer during the daytime. I have noticed that she's more active whenever I eat sweets. So I ate a Kit Kat bar and she was up for like two hours, kicking me like every five seconds. Um, so I'm getting used to that. Um, so far, I mean, that part of it has been very magical. Um, there are some times that I'm kind of like, okay, stop moving. But then whenever she stops moving and she's like asleep, that's when I start to miss her moving actually. So um, that's definitely been a, um, an exciting part of pregnancy. So I'll get into some of the symptoms, like the new symptoms that I've been experiencing. Um, some of them is actually quite unexpected. So I have noticed that um, about two weeks ago, um, my thighs have started to kind of like fall asleep. It feels like my thighs are asleep. So it happens when I'm standing for a long period of time or I'm just like, I'm laying on one side, like I'm sleeping on one side for too long. I have noticed that my thighs start to get a little tingly and numb and even a burning sensation sometimes. So I Googled what that could be associated with because I had never had that before. So turns out it is a symptom of pregnancy. Uh, they don't tell you about it. <laughs> Not everybody gets it, but um, it's a form of like neuropathy um, that's caused by pregnancy. Um, I forgot the term of it exactly, but um, I have been experiencing that um, and there's nothing really anybody can do for it. Um, it's just once I have the baby, that's whenever it will go away again. So that's been different. Um, so usually I just kind of take breaks throughout the day, kind of sit down if I'm like, if I'm walking through the mall, I just have to like sit down for a little bit because my thighs start to burn. Um, cravings. So my cravings have been so far just kind of, I guess what you would expect with pregnancy. So sweets. Um, but one thing I am starting to learn, I swear I, if my baby is going to love applesauce because I did not eat applesauce. Like I'm eating it now, like before I got pregnant, I never even touched applesauce. Now I keep two packs in the fridge at all times. And I like it a certain way too. I'm kind of picky about how I like my applesauce. So I like mine cold, like I mean ice cold. So I usually take a cup of applesauce and I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes to let it get really, really cold because I really like it that particular way. Um, if it's any other kind of way, if it's room temperature or if it's just kind of like eh, kind of cold I won't touch it so I'm kind of picky about that um icing icing has been a big one since I hit my second trimester um I'm trying to think what else I mean there are times that I do crave like apples and oranges and fruit and there are other times that I crave sweets so it kind of has both. Um, when, when I was, uh, before we knew the gender, I was trying to figure out the gender by doing all like the wives tales that you hear about. So I tried one TikTok trend. It wasn't trend. It was, um, it was like a superstition. Not, I don't even know what you call it. What do you call it? Um, like, yeah, like wife's tale, like that's what they call it. So um, I tried the um, the one with baking soda that you take like a cup of baking soda and then like your urine and it's, if it fizzes, it's a boy. And if it doesn't fizz, it's a girl. I tried that and it fizzed. Okay, so that was, a th I was that pointed boy, right? And then I had, 
can do like the ring thing where you put a ring on a string and then you like dangle it over your belly and which if it swings back and forth it's a boy and if it swings in a circle it's a girl and it swung it swung back and forth so again another sign of a boy I didn't have morning sickness again another sign of a boy and and this is just what all the wives tales are, are telling me right so before I knew the gender everything was pointing to a boy and so when we did find out the gender I'm like wow okay so there's really no truth to any of these like little tr tricks to find out anything okay so myth busted okay got it now let's move on to hormones so my hormones have been getting a lot better lately um because at first like within like the first couple of weeks of my pregnancy the first month or two um it I noticed change. I noticed that I was more sensitive, but it wasn't until the third and the fourth That's month when I was just overly sensitive. Everything was just so big to me. Um, and everything was just such a big deal. Now that I'm in my fifth month, I'm in my second trimester, 22 weeks, I feel like I'm starting to calm down. I feel like I am starting to process things like my old selfie used to. So we so. have started to shop for a crib and a couple of other nursery items. I haven't found that perfect crib yet though. Um, I really want it to be special. I want it to be something that just fits perfectly. So essentially she will have two nurseries because I am living at home with my parents for the time being and Ken has his own place. So my room will be half nursery and half my room. Um, but she will have like a full, a whole shebang nursery at Ken's. And so we have started to think about color themes. We've started to think about what kind of theme the nursery will be. Um, and we're really excited to start putting that together really soon. So about two weeks ago, we had our 20 week anatomy scan. So it's not necessarily always done at 20 weeks. It could be done anywhere from 18 to 24 weeks. They just call it the 20 week anatomy scan or just anatomy scan. So when we had our anatomy scan, um, I was very nervous. I had researched a lot on TikTok about anatomy scans and what they're like and what they mean. So what the anatomy scan does is look at every part of her body to make sure that everything is developing normally. So they looked at her brain, they looked at her bones, they looked at her stomach, her liver, her heart, particularly her heart. Um, and it was, it was an ultrasound and it was, you know, it was wonderful to see like how she's developing um, and in real time um, because I feel her all the time and so I know her legs are pretty strong um, but to actually like see her little feet her little fingers like everything just start to come together I, I can remember back when I was you know eight weeks pregnant and she looked like a little chicken <laughs> and now she's a she's a baby like she's she looks like a baby now um, and so anyway I had seen a lot of things on TikTok about what the anatomy scan is for. And so anatomy scans are to determine if there are any abnormalities whatsoever, um, if there would be any sort of anything going wrong. And um, so, I mean, it's like when you go on WebMD and then you look up a migraine and then they tell you it's brain cancer, like don't do that with TikTok. So if anybody is pregnant out there right now and you're about ready to do your 20 week anatomy scan, don't go to TikTok because it will freak you out and psych you out. So don't do that. <laughs> just calm down, it will be all right. So um, the best thing to do is just do other research. Um, talk to your doctor, make sure that your doctor is informing you about what to expect. Um, and that's something that I feel like is, is really important is to have a good communication line with your doctor. Um, so anyway, so we had our anatomy scan and visually everything looked normal. And so the doctor had take, taken notes and um, so I get a call back the next week. 
And um, so the doctor told me everything is normal. She is developing perfectly normal. She is exactly the right size that she needs to be for, you know, the um, the gestational age. So, um, which, which made me feel good because I do have a smaller baby bump. So I was kind of like, is, is she growing like normally? Like, <laughs> like, should I be like out the here pregnant already? Um, but I also learned that um, a lot of women, um, like with their first pregnancy, they won't start showing till like later on in their pregnancy. Healthy pregnancy, everything's going good on that front. Um, symptoms are manageable. Um, overall, I think that I have a very good pregnancy. Um, I, I like to say that I'm blessed that things are going so well. So um, it was a relief to know that she's developing normally. It's a relief to know that I'm healthy as the mother. Um, and overall, like it's just, it's going really good. So thank y'all so much for watching my pregnancy update and stay tuned for more.